the seafood they have amazing seafood here oh my god i'm yeah. so glad Absolutely you brought me brilliant. here because you know i live for seafood yes i do and i, I do. heard that they have really I good do. cocktails and you look like a well. fish so that's fine it's been not looking like a squirrel <gasps> they're so oh. evil so coming from you <laughs> you said it wait, first wait, hang on the cameras are rolling oh hi <laughs> hi guys how are you doing okay so this is cityscape on city tv my name is apioka and i'm here with Emma for the great. The currency. With the squirrel. The <laughs> Stop calling me that. You and a fake family. I don't like that. But, but <laughs> we're at the Apartmento Hotel, formerly Crown Apartmento. So if you, you, you've been chilling, you've been a socialite for a long time, like MFA has been, then you probably know where it is. But at Roma Ridge, somewhere moving into West Airport, Airport, Airport West. Yeah. That, that, that space. But yes, brilliant, amazing place. It's always been one of my favorites. I haven't been here for ages, but recently, um, Stephen, one of our producers on the show, just reintroduced me, and I, I just mm. was it for one of his meetings. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. So basically, we came to eat. You know, a flooding of memory. So we're at the Apartmental Hotel. And Back in the day, in the 1900s, when Apioko used to chill. <laughs> that was a low blow. But you've done well. Thank Sometimes you. I worry about your intelligence, you know, but it's, it's fine. Anyways. But yes, anyway. as we're sitting here waiting for our food, and we started talking about Christmas stuff, and we were like, hey, Bona, Rolex, Ima, Pearl, me, you guys come. Let's shoot this because I think it's a brilliant conversation that we need to share with you. We're talking about the phenomenon of the Christmas, the Christmas Bay. Christmas Bay. Yes. Oh, so, no, also known as the Xmas Bay. Xmas Bay. Xmas Bay. Xmas Bay. Bay. Yeah. You know. Christmas Bay, Xmas Bay. Okay, so uh, we're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we'll delve into that conversation and we'll have some great food as well at the Apartmento Hotel. Cityscape on City TV, we'll be right back. Okay, okay. so. Okay, you've been asking me, what is a Christmas bay? Because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, okay, so you know, so this is the thing. In the last couple of years, and it's something that has made me extremely happy, and, and viewers, I'm sure you know some people too. You know, in, in times past, it's been very... Okay, drinks first. Hi. Hi, hello, how Hi. are you? Nathaniel. Hi, Nathaniel. Hi, Nathaniel. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you very much. I have the drinks, I have the nice cocktails, and I would like to see Yay. you again. Okay, Thank you. So would you recommend ah. anything for a lovely lady like myself? For sure. Hey, wow, your cocktails So you think she's very... lovely? She's not lovely. Yeah. Your cocktails have some very interesting names. Mm -hmm. So I want something very strong, okay. but very sweet as well. Okay. Listen, it's 5 p.m. somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is lunchtime, this, guys. This, lunchtime. Okay, but I would this like... This berry tea looks really good. I can't make up my mind. Okay, okay I, know. I know what I want. Is that sweet enough? Yes. Great, I'll have that. You know what, I want the very tea, non-alcoholic. Yes, I think, I think, yeah. It's looking okay. good. Thank you, Nathaniel. <laughs> Thanks, Nathaniel. <laughs> but, but yeah, so like, like I was saying, the past few years and viewers, uh, like I'm saying, I'm sure you know some people as well. Until recently, it's been very difficult for people, especially women, to leave relationships that they've been mm. in for a long time. Yes, so I have I girlfriends who've been in relationships, yes, been in relationships relationship yes. for five yeah. years, six yeah. years. Ah. Yeah. Oh. oh, so is this made at uh, Apartmento? Yes, we are joined with all these things. We made everything here. We plant our meat ourselves. We made oh, the chocolate wow. ourselves. This is you amazing. Made the chocolate? Yes. Okay, we need to talk to you about this later. We need to talk we to you about this later. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that smells really good. Thank you, Thank you so much. You. Thank you. To all the single men and women, you know what? Merry I'm Christmas. I'm sorry, carry on. Oh, for using food as perfume. Yes, anyway, yes. so yes, I, I, I've, so my friends, they've been able to get out of relationships that were either abusive, relationships that are just mm. taking away from their greatness. I'm, I am listening, I'm sorry. I'm still on this myth issue. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, 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 focused no. child. I totally understand what you're saying, Apioko. I mean, for those of you who don't know, I, I recently came out of a long-term relationship myself. I think it's been about close to two years now. Um, and definitely, it, it was an adjustment because you're, you're in a routine. You, this person has been a part of your life, well, for me, for well over five years. You're planning on merging families, so yeah. you're already thinking to the future. And when you realize that, you know what, this relationship isn't adding to my life, but rather taking away from who I am. As a strong woman, I felt like it was time to cut that umbilical cord, get to know Emma for all over again, love Emma for all over again, and to start afresh. So for me, it's been very exciting. Obviously, growth is very painful, contrary oh, to what people think. Definitely. It's not, oh, you know, today I, I took 10 steps instead of five, none of that. I mean, it's a slow and painful process. Yeah. But realizing that and growing and just allowing yourself to go with the motions has been, has been a treat. I, I can literally Thank see you how for your much honesty, I've grown. Because I, some time ago, it would have been very difficult for you to say this on camera. <laughs> and, and I see growth there. And, and yeah. Congratulations on Thank that. I'm you. very happy. It makes Thank me you. happy. I Thank don't like you. you very much, but it makes me happy to see that she you're happy. Me. No, I don't. But yeah, so now what is the Christmas day? So a lot of single, I mean, I mean we're not just talking about women, though. Mm -hmm. because we're women, sometimes these things come we more tend naturally. To focus, exactly. yeah. But there are a lot of men too, people who have been out of relationships for a long time and mm. don't know how to get back into them. People who have just come out of relationships yeah. in the last week and now it's Christmas, you know. And, and then people who, on the other hand, um, are divorcees, for example, and, mm. and don't know how to get back on the dating bandwagon. And so there's this whole thing of, okay, it's Christmas time, I don't want to be alone. Yeah. Um, especially if you're not the kind of person. I think that's a very dangerous yes. place to start. Yeah. The yeah, fear yeah. of being yeah. alone. You're not the kind of person who knows how to, like you, MFA, you, I've watched you through your singleness, your newly single routine. Yeah. And it's great to see you hanging out with your girlfriends. You've managed to, but some people can't do that. Yeah. They're cooping themselves up in rooms. They're doing rebound relationships, sleeping with any and everyone. Mm. And so there are some people who have said, you know what, Christmas is coming. Let's go for it. Christmas Bay. Mm. What do you think about do it? Do you know what? I think the fear of being alone is a very dangerous place to start. Mm. I mean, speaking from experience, I'm, I'm almost on the opposite end of the spectrum where I like my own company a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> it took my friend You narcissist. No, no, I'm just I'm just a hermit. <laughs> so it took a friend who's actually a, a psychologist to tell me that listen, we're social beings, you need to have human interaction. You can't go days on end without speaking to another mm. another human being. You need to come out. So through my single life, you know, journey, it hasn't always been chilling with my girlfriends. It's been a lot of single day so you've I gone mean, through the motions it's I've been a process through. and do you know what going out by myself wasn't necessarily a negative because i do that often anyways i mean i've seen jess um jessica o, um oh, yeah, yeah she does all the time i mean i've seen her out a few times she'd be like Emma, why are you here by yourself <laughs> like you know you've got like a big meal you've got a glass of wine that's the sort of thing i like to do so for me it was going out to plays going to see music um concerts going to the cinema, going out for a drink, going out to, for my favorite you know, latte at my favorite cafe. So for me, um, because I'm not scared of being alone, I guess it was easier, but I can understand why people would feel the need to find that companionship or to make that connection with someone okay. during this festive yeah, period. And because during the holidays, people, you see people, and Christmas is really about families. Exactly. If you think about it, people exactly. are coming in from all over the world, to the, the, the diasporans are here, mm -hmm. you know, coming to see their families. Yeah, the traffic is The boggers are here. Clearly they're here. You know, people are shopping together, cooking together, mm -hmm. going to parties. And then you find yourself by yourself. Because sometimes, it's not that you don't have friends or that you don't have places to go. It's but you're that just, they have stuff to do as well. Yes, and you're also just scared of sometimes even, especially if it's a very fresh thing, explaining to people what happened. Yes. You don't want to get into yes. that conversation. But um, we, we need to take a quick break. Um, we'll be back shortly. And we continue this conversation on Cityscape, on City TV, about the phenomenon of the Christmas, Christmas the Xmas Bay. Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Spice up your mornings with culturally enriched conversations, social interviews, and policy-oriented discussions that will keep you updated on the progress of the nation. But I think that the general uh, demeanor and posturing of our police force, even when it comes to these things, needs to be spoken about. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30am to 10 
Let your voice be heard with the hashtag Breakfast Daily. Join us for breakfast daily, only on City TV. Witness the twisted and tangled story of betrayal, greed, vengeance, and love in the award-winning Brazil Avenue. Carminha, a woman led by greed, gets rid of her husband who is Rita's father and sends Rita away to a filthy landfill. Rita finds love in Batata, but they are soon separated by adoption into different families far away from each other. Many years later, all paths cross again as Rita, now a renowned chef, seeks to pay back her stepmother for taking away her happiness as a child. It's a story of twists, turns, suspense and thrilling action in Brazil Avenue. Brazil Avenue airs Wednesday to Friday at 10 p.m. and the Omnibus on Saturday at 9 p.m. Only on CTTV. Regular news checks as they unfold. 2020 news all day, all the time. Politics, sports, entertainment, business, and more. Well, that's all for 2020 news on City TV. All the news in 20 minutes. Back to Cityscape on City TV, and we've been talking about the phenomenon of the Christmas Bay. Xmas Bay. The Xmas Bay. So, <laughs> and we said so many things. You yeah. know, you're single, it's Christmas, the holidays are here, you feel lonely, so many Hello, emotions. Madam. Hello, hey. oh, the drinks are oh, here. Yeah. Okay. So, this is her alcohol. <laughs> okay, thank you. See, see, he drinks all the alcohol. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> mm. This is too good. That was a really okay, long sip. Okay, it's not a sip. commercial. I'm sorry. <laughs> MFR. That was a really long sip. Wow. Okay, it's I'm a back. Long sip with all the alcohol. Can you stop saying that? <laughs> well, it makes you who you are, so I love you for it. Aww. But yes, yes, yes. So our Christmas. What's the thing? Uh, Christmas, do? Xmas, Xmas Bay. Xmas. <laughs> Our uh, Xmas Bay topic. So, yeah, I mean, let, let's really just define yes, I was clearly about to say, what, okay. what is a Christmas Bay? Okay, What's so, a Xmas so Bay? So, for me, an Xmas Bay is someone you connect with specifically for the holiday period mm. so that you can have company to attend all the events you want to attend. You can have companionship during that time if that's what you're looking for. And, you know, just someone to make you feel special during the holiday period. So, basically, period. an escort for Christmas. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Without the pay. Without, well, <laughs> yeah, it, dep it depends on what level you're I'm going I'm not trying to. to sound condescending or anything, but, okay, I mean, we've already spoken a little briefly about what this, what could lead to this. Exactly. So, um, the loneliness that is amplified during the holidays, mm -hmm. um, you, your family is around, your friends, and doing people things are coming couples. from out of town, exactly. and then you're, oh, <gasps> oh my God. Oh my god! Thank you. Oh my god, there's genuine joy in my heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. That looks so good. Thank you so Thank much. You. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, talk. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, I had and a moment. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. I had a moment. I need to breathe. Okay, so once again, I guess we're at Apartmental Hotel. Okay, I'm going to be Ridge, really social media rich. Around the, I mean, Roma <laughs> Ridge moving into Airport West. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so are you actually snapping your food? Oh, well, it looks too pretty. But people are looking at us. We're supposed to be talking to them. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm a child. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm here too. Oh, I forgot you were here. Babe, oh. this looks amazing. Oh, you'll be very lonely this Christmas. I will not I'll take you anywhere. Oh. Ooh. Oh, With the dear. green pepper I like. Yes. <gasps> oh, MG. Okay. Thank you you did so good, babe. Much. You did good. Thank you. Did, you. you did Thank good. You. Thank you so much, Apartmento. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so this Christmas Bay, Xmas Bay. I am listening. I'm listening. I mean, how how do people get into? It? I know. Hello, I mean, you're hello. Very Thank you very much. Oh my God, everything looks so lovely. I know, and so so amazing, so delicious. Can't wait to have that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Nathaniel. Okay. So it's Christmas time, your family is around. Christmas time, your family is around, your friends are around, people are coming into town. There's so much going on. Every big event is happening, including D2R, D2R, you know, all these big things. Mm -hmm. And you're alone. And it's not like you don't have friends, but you, especially if it's some, a relationship that you got out of in the last month, the yeah. last year even, it's difficult for you to tell people yeah, I, and I think you that's know? where people end up getting Xmas space mm. because, like you said earlier, having to explain to someone that you just come out of a relationship, you know, there are always follow-up questions, especially for women, you know how it's like. Um, and like you said earlier, I think it's just the fear of being alone and wanting to have a companion to go with you to these things and to have someone to create memories with. I know why people are so scared to create memories on By their themselves, because yeah. they don't know how. They don't know how, and I think for some people, especially if they've been in a relationship for a long time, mm. they just got out of it. They, they don't know themselves that. anymore. Oh my God! They're used Do you to, want to seeing, talk about that? like, like you said <laughs> earlier, they're used to seeing themselves as an extension of someone else, and yeah. that other person as an as extension of them. Yeah. You know, and then for some people to, they never really knew themselves. That's, you know, there's some people they, they can barely count the number of days, months, years that they've been single yes. in their lives. They literally multiply from relationship to relationship. Exactly. That is so the they, so their identity are formed based, based on, on who they are. Exactly. I don't know if you've seen this, this meme that was trending on social media a while ago of Sierra. You know Sierra, the yep, singer? Yep, yep. So there's a picture of her um, smoking a certain substance with her <laughs> then partner Future and showing her now next to Russell Wilson. Whether you like it or not, who you are is a culmination of, I heard, the five people you spend the most amount of time with. Of course. Whether you like it or not, people rub off on you. Even your menaras, you're somebody for exactly. a long time. That's why they say married couples after a while, they begin to look alike There's, and whatnot. Which is very true. You know, we've spoken a lot about women. <laughs> we've spoken a lot about women mm -hmm. and not too much about men. But there are men who are lonely as well. Mm -hmm. you know? There are men who feel the holiday sting because they've just come out of a relationship or because they're single, they don't have anybody. Yeah, and, and then especially around this time when society puts pressure on them to provide for whoever they're with. Exactly. In addition to providing for their family. Right. I'm sure they feel an extra right. and, level and of these stress. days it's not chocolate. <laughs> people are looking for phones. Listen, people I'm still are waiting looking for my for, iPhone, you know you, you are. For, for, people are looking for cars even. Mm. You know, all sorts of things. And imagine you're a single man and so there are all these women who might be potentials or who think they're potentials. Mm. And Refer they're all expecting to our dating episode. <laughs> <laughs> they're all expecting gifts. Yeah. You know. And, and I, I, I want people to understand that during the holidays, especially women, be nice to men too. There are also men who are going through issues as far as relationships are concerned. There are also men who are looking for Christmas bays, not just because they want to get into your pants, but because they want companionship too. Mm. They're human beings, they have emotions as well. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of the time when we have these conversations, we leave the men and what they're going through out mm -hmm. and just talk about the women. There are some women who have put men through stuff. I'm yeah. fight you and I know, you know, you know. But any final words um, before we dig I, into I, this? I, I just want to say that I don't think that the idea of a Christmas bay or Xmas bay is necessarily wrong. I think it's it's just important to go back to who you are, your mental state, where you are in life, whether or not you really should be inviting company into your life, into your space. 
and whether or not you're ready for that and asking yourself whether or not this, this company is even worth it and why you want to invite a company into your life but I think it's all down to the individual you know what about you no I absolutely agree I do think that there's some people who I mean, the silence alone is just too loud for them mm. and they like to have people around them and there's nothing there's wrong, nothing with, that. wrong with that yeah. I just think that you should be honest with yourself and, and make sure that you're not using it as a cover-up for deeper mm. things that can lead to depression and whatnot and you're, you're really just looking to have fun during the Christmas holiday. Yeah, just do what makes yeah. you happy. But so don't too. hurt anyone and make sure you're not hurting yourself. Absolutely. I remember we've been speaking about the phenomenon of the Christmas Bay, the Xmas Bay. Let's hear your views now and of course the show still continues. Catch the best of Christmas entertainment this holiday season with these family movies from 24th to 30th of December. Holiday Baggage. Chilly Christmas. And a husband for Christmas. Right here on City TV. Let's take you on a journey of discovery. The incredible sights, artifacts, music, and adventure. It is what makes life worth living. Our history, the arts, and soul. Art and Soul with Melissa Award. Saturdays at 8.30 a.m. Only on City TV. Art and Soul. 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 of the most exciting football league in the world. Don't miss the stats, the news, and the debate. Get expert opinions on who makes the Fantasy League Premier League team of the week. It's the Premier League Preview Show. You yes. ask any defender or any supporter out there whether they were afraid of Luis Suarez. I'll tell you no. Nathan, because he wasn't, he wasn't as good as he was three years okay, later. So, so that's so that. that in three years' time, mm -hmm. We'll be having this conversation about Mohamed Salah. The Premier League Preview Show, every Friday at 3 p.m., only on CCTV. Hello there, and welcome to the What's New segment of Cityscape, right here on City TV. So I'm at the Apartamento Hotel and I've just had the most amazing seafood platter. And I have the man behind this amazing dish. His name is Genesis. Hi, Genesis. Hi, Emifa. Chef Genesis. Hi, Emifa. Thank you for having me. That's nice meeting you. Good. So how long have you been a chef for? I've been a chef for five years now. Okay. And I've worked for this organization for over 11 years now. Oh, wow. That's, That's amazing. Thank you. So can you talk us through the menu? Actually, my menu, we do the continental. Asian and Mediterranean dishes. Wow. Yes, okay, that's a really wide range. A very wide range so, of food. So, um, what what is the main thing you would recommend? Would my, you recommend my my seafood? I'll recommend the seafood for you. Okay. And very delicious and tasty. Definitely. I mean, I love the prawns, the garlic butter, the salad you've included, wow. and everything else. Thank you. So, very much. do you have a specialty menu for for the holidays for Christmas? Yes, we do. Please. Okay. Can you tell me something about Actually, it? Actually, we're having a special grill. Oh. Ooh, okay. Right. For our guests. Okay. So we do a lot of Ghanaian dishes as well. Okay. Such as your well known local dishes mm. in Ghana. So tell me about the grill. So is it pork, beef, is it kebabs? Yeah. We or? do pork, we do beef, we do grill tilapia as well. Wow. And rest napa if you watch. Okay, that sounds so good. I've heard about this huge flame that you usually yeah. have here. Thank you so much, honestly. I've really enjoyed my food. I'm sure those of you watching at home, you've seen pictures behind the scenes. So this has been um, Chef Genesis at Crown Apartamento Hotel. I am Emma Fa, and you've been watching the What's You segment on Cityscape. See you soon. We're at Apartamento Hotel. We have this amazing seafood to finish. I hope I can get through it. <laughs> oh, if you need help, I'll happily help you. But my name is Apioko, and I'm here with... Emma <laughs> Yeah, the 
Korean scene. <laughs> High five, high five. Oh, high five, oh, I love you. you I love you. Me. Show oh. it. And uh, it's Christmas. Enjoy yourselves. This is Cityscape on City TV. See you next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs>